Hey there, movie fans. Scott Movie Mance here, and brace yourself for Promising Young Woman. Every week, I go to a club. I act like I'm too drunk to stand. And every week, a nice guy comes over to see if I'm okay. You okay? You are so pretty. I am a nice guy. Are you? Okay, this movie is amazing. Not only is it one of the very best movies of 2020, but it is definitely the most provocative. It's a brilliant, riveting, intricately plotted revenge thriller that grabs you right from the start and tightens its grip as it goes along, culminating with a shocking and mind-blowing payoff that will stay with you for days. But the less you know about it, the better. So I'm not going to say too much about it because it's all in the discovery and there sure is a lot to discover about this amazing movie. Carrie Mulligan plays Cassandra and she's got some very heavy issues she's dealing with after being traumatized by a painful event from her past. As she goes about her radical and unconventional healing process, she goes down a path towards redemption that will take her through some very surprising turns. And what a feature directorial debut for Emerald Fennell, who also wrote the amazing screenplay. Promising Young Woman is an extremely effective and totally original film that works on so many levels. On one hand, it's a fusion of sorts because it works both as a revenge thriller, but also as a love story between Carrie Mulligan's character and a kind pediatrician played by Bo Burnham. It's also tightly wound and seamlessly plotted with a provocative story that has so much to say, and it says so loud and clear, especially in these years since the Me Too and Time's Up movements. And holding it all together is Carrie Mulligan, who delivers a tour de force performance as a woman who's carrying all the cards and pulling the strings as she carries out her mission of vengeance. She knows what she's doing and she is in control right up until the very end, which has to be seen to be believed. Promising a Woman is going to start a lot of conversations, and I hope it does, not just for its provocative story, but also on the award season front, as Carrie Mulligan is sure to get nominated for her second Academy Award. Her first was back for 2009's An Education. So she's so overdue. She's so great. She is amazing in this movie. Also looking at nominations here for Best Picture, Best Director, and definitely Best Original Screenplay because there is no other screenplay like it, especially this year. I first saw Promising Young Woman at the Sundance Film Festival back in January, almost a year ago, and it was my very favorite film of the festival. It was supposed to open in theaters back in April, but Focus Features moved it after the pandemic started to take hold. So now they're opening it at the end of the year. It's going to play in some theaters, at least the ones that are open, and then it'll go on demand. And that's where you should see Promising Young Woman, because under the circumstances, it is the safest way to see it. But do see it because it's awesome. You will love it. It's one of the very, very best movies of the year. And I cannot wait to see it again. It is an instant classic. I'm Scott Movie Mance. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until the next review, here's looking at you, kid.